What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it ain't no longer just Daddy's channel anymore. Emmy decided she's taking over the YouTube channel, didn't you, Emmy Lou? Hmm? You wanna talk to the people? Say what's up, everybody. What's up, everybody? You wanna introduce yourself? You ain't been on the channel in a while. You just been taking a break? Yeah, been out of the spotlight for a little bit. Yeah. So they're all completely homeschooled this year and um, gonna be trucking with me. Do right, baby doll. No, she wants to do some trucking with me. She's been on my case about doing some trucking, so we're gonna take her trucking. Um, Go do this thing, baby doll. Mm -hmm. That's right over here. There's a beach, I'm telling you. It's all up down there. You better be because I want to swim in it. You want to go to the beach? I thought you was a boat hauler. You going to be a mermaid now? I can do both of them. Oh, yeah? guys so me and Amy Lou she's a trucking girl now we are we got a phone call from a new customer that needed a rush haul job done you guys know that it's had the hurricane down here we've got a ton of calls on some boats to move so we're gonna be busy for the next few weeks hauling boats back and forth and salvage boats and stuff like that but Emmy has decided that she is no longer going to let Daddy drive the truck without her. She's said she's taking Braxton's place, right? So they're going to have to find that out amongst themselves. But Braxton's got him a girlfriend now, and he's pretty focused on that. I don't know. He won't tell me. But either way, we're down here looking for the marina right now. That's not it, even though I'd like to hook up to that bad boy right there. All right, we're here. We are here. Where's the beach This is where we gotta look. Figure out where they want us. This is small yard. Oh, there it is. There's the boat. Yeah, that thing's gonna be tall. All right, we gotta get back in. Let's block up the road real quick, honey doll. Inside this sucker in off the highway, won't we, Amy? Alright, we gotta get this thing loaded. Let's get you in there in the bathroom. Get shoes on, love you. Alright, here she come, boys. Main ship. I'm really worried about these shafts. Probably gonna have to stretch out because them shafts. Well, I'll probably have to stretch out because them shafts unless we load it backwards. That sucker's gonna be tall. All 
right, guys, we're going to stretch this thing out. If I loaded it backwards, I wouldn't have to stretch it. But they can't turn it around. They ain't got no room here to do all that stuff. So we're just going to stretch the trailer out real quick. No big deal. Come on forward with it, see how it's in for good. Guys, I've got it pretty much set where it's gonna sit. I think it's gonna to be too tall, but we're gonna see. Let me get out of the pan. On the lid first. Okay. 
beautiful. Beautiful. It don't get any better than that. That boat is sitting right. I don't know how tall it is, but it's sitting good. It ain't gonna sit any better. Yeah, the pad on that side is not tight. It's so flat. Oh, over there? On the fourth side, yeah. Fourth side bow. But well, we'll need to get it tight. If you want to have him lift it up, I'll tighten it up. How you going? I'm sweating up a storm, boys. It's hot. It's work. Give me like it. She's on. All right, we're all loaded up. Strap down, ready to go. Which we can't run long tonight. We're gonna at least try to get up to a truck stop. Feed this little girl, she is hungry. And then get this thing to the house. Go home? No, I want lunch first. Well, we'll get lunch first, then we go home. Honey, it's dinner time now. All right, she's all strapped down, ready to go. Well, let's get her done, honey. Let's get her done. Alright guys, here we go. Dang potholes.
new axles. Alright, let's get this big girl to the house. Back on the road. Them signs are hard to keep them on there. I'm gonna turn this thing down a little bit. Good night. 
I-285 around the Beltway, and uh, we got a little ways to go when we get there, though. finally getting over here towards the other side of Florida. I mean, it's had a big rainstorm. This big main ship is a riding. She is a riding. I going? I about to try pull my trailer brakes. That'd have been interesting. It was just raining like crazy.
Alright, we are through the scale. Through the scale. Come on, stay away from the alligators. She said there's a lot of alligators in these ponds. A moose? That ain't a moose. Honey, you gotta get out more. That is a bird. I don't know what to call it either. I guess a swan. Hmm. Let's rock and roll. Come on, Hoss. Alright, so it was just a quick permit check. Nothing crazy. She said everything looked good. Uh, width, height, and weight was good. Come on, Holly. Alright, right, let's do this thing. I 
I didn't think you were going to make it, but you have. You did good. You got a little impatient, but. <laughs> Caution! costly fill up because this thing has 207 gallon tanks on it i don't know how low it is when it's on e it's pretty low in the tanks and i've been on e since probably georgia chattanooga or georgia This is my preferred truck. This is the truck I'm comfortable in. It's a truck I know will take me anywhere in the country. I just know this truck really, really well and what it's capable of. I've been in it for so many years. And But if I would have took Bonnie, I would have used half the fuel. I mean, this thing's got tons of power and way more than it's needed for this load in this trailer so Bonnie would have done a really really good job and got really good fuel mileage she wouldn't have pulled as hard as this thing I don't have it turned up as much as this truck and I'm not going to turn it up as much as this truck and this thing's got a big gigantic motor in it the power wise comfort wise I mean this is my baby and this is the truck I would rather take anywhere but to save money and you know, and Bonnie looks good and represents good. And Bonnie's comfortable. 
but it, to me it's hard to beat a you know an older model 379 these things are just built well they're strong they don't shake and vibrate and, you know stuff come loose in the dash easy they're not plastic so it's a hard toss-up but um we should have the motor done in bonnie tomorrow and have it backed out and be able to take it on some loads and I am pretty excited for it because I do need to save as much money as possible right now. Look at all these pretty trucks in the round. Oh, boy. Now we got through the gate and my 98 beer bill. inspection lane shut this thing down it's got to be fueled up and uh, do inspection on truck and trailer make sure everything's good to go for the next trip I got to deliver this thing tomorrow get paid all right guys good morning good morning we are headed to deliver this boat all right let's go deliver this thing guys I don't know how he plans on unloading this boat. I've not I've been by his yard a few times. I ain't never seen a hoist, but I'm sure as involved with the boats as he is, I'm sure he's got a plan. This guy seems like he's one of those type that just figures crap out, kind of like us. The old rooster getting her done this morning. a truck and find out if it's a man or a boy truck. Alright, we're getting close, boys. I lost it on that heel. I had to stop for a second. Alright, here we go.
All right, guys, I'm gonna leave the trailer here and uh, it's so hot right now. I'm gonna let him get it unloaded when he, when it cools down a little bit, which I told him I'd come help him. But he's gonna take those jacks right there and he'll pick it up off the trailer and then I'll pull out from under it. And I'm gonna do it later when it cools off. Come on, dude. See you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> hey, just holler when you need me. I'm right down the road. Come on. Yeah.